Hey, yo, man, you know what's going on. It's your boy Cam Low, host of Who's Next 757. We got a special guest in the building, Shell Gang Gunner. Yup, so, yup. What's going on, my guy? I ain't much, bro. You know, taking it day at the day. You know what I'm saying? Getting money after money. You know what we do. Uh huh. Same shit. We see the, we see the ice. Yeah. We man. see it shining yeah, in the spot right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So you got the, you got the gang repping on the ice, right? Yeah. The 50 shell gang. gang. Yup, got the shell gang, got the 50 gang up there. Uh Shell Gang is that's the family. We uh shout out my cousin Twan got it, you know, so we got uh more shells. That's what we started out, you know what I'm saying? We still more shells. Shell gang. We just been running with that too, you feel me? Like that's our shit. You know what I'm saying? Fifty gang that's off of Lincoln Park, you know, so you know what I'm saying? Southeast San Diego, so that's some I'm gonna put y'all, that's some blood, that's some blood shit, let y'all know what I'm saying, real gang banger shit. You feel me? But, you okay. know, I was basically raised downtown, Marshall Courts, you know, 33rd. That's why I was, you know, that's my stomping grounds. You feel me? That, that's why I've been at the guy home when I came home from penitentiary. I went back to Cali for a while. Back here, you know, back and forth. You know, doing a lot of different chain off and I done moved shit, I done moved everywhere, bro. <laughs> I done been moving to GD. I was in Suffolk, I'd have been everywhere. You mm -hmm. feel me? But yeah. Fun fact, you know what I'm saying? I, don't know, I, I do R&B too. You feel me? Yeah, I really do R&B. So my cousin Twan got it. Like, you know, you a street nigga. So I'm like, man, I ain't trying to do no R&B, bro. Like, I ain't trying to sing, man. He was like, bro, you got a gift, man. Like, use it. Use it. So I didn't dab out of it. You feel me? Then I really started, you know, taking my craft serious. Like, let me go ahead and see what I can do. Started dropping a little shit. Back then, we was doing, like, everybody was on SoundCloud and all that, so I was doing a little bit here. Doing all right, you feel me? And then I really went ahead. I said, let me go ahead. Let me see what I can really do. Let me see if I can, if I can turn up for real. And I started taking it serious. You know, I started doing shows here. We were doing shows, and uh, at one time, I was doing with uh, Capri. Mm -hmm. from, so, yeah, I was doing shows for Capri. A million T. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? We were doing there. We'll go. She had us everywhere. Virginia Beach, South Florida, Portland. We were doing okay. shows everywhere. She's so. still doing her thing out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. She's still, yup, yeah, yeah. She definitely is. She definitely is. And we just started going. Then on my side, you know, we got Charm Lounge now. You know, it's called Charm. You feel me? But we used to go back in the day when it was called a twist. We was out there rocking that for a minute. And it's time to venture out after a while. Twan started going up, up the old way. We started going to New York. Okay. You know, Twan was rocking out there. We was going to, going to New York. And I was still, they were more serious with their music more than I was. You feel me? I was doing it, but I'm like, man, shit, I'm trying to get some money, man, for real. Mm -hmm. I was like, I could do the music, but shit, I need some bread. And after a while, I said, man, let me do this. So I've been doing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shit, using United Masters. You know, different shit. I was uh, fucking with this mm -hmm. little kid. Yep, but, yep. you know, after, you know, it's building your brand. You feel me? So when you build, keep building your brand, working with different people, and they start seeing what you can do, like, all right, you bet. Like, first it started off, everybody was selling tickets, and then you get half of that off the tickets and all that. Mm -hmm. And we didn't, you know, we didn't elevate it from that. And me, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't selling no tickets. I'm going to sell tickets regardless. I'm going to pack your club up. Okay. I'm coming with my squad, me and my niggas coming. They got day people. Then anybody already, people that's fans of me, mm -hmm. they gonna do it. And mm -hmm. going shit out of town too, mm -hmm. make it even better. Cause they start figuring out who is you? You know, who, who is it? Oh, all right, they pulling up this deep. Let me see who this guy is. And start going from there. Yeah, it's um, it's like a rollout plan. Shout out my homeboy, D Castro. He, uh, he put me down, you know what I'm saying? He in Atlanta, like he put me with a, a lot, like he gave me a lot of knowledge on it. I went to uh, music seminars and everything. It's like, everything is content. You feel me? Like you gotta put content out. You put out a snippet of a video. You got good music, you feel me? And it's something catching everything. People gonna like it and things like that. You'll be hard. You got a hook, maybe you don't even have a hook. Whatever you got going on, people fuck with it. Keep putting that content out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta market it. It's a, like, you no, know, everything is marketing. Sometimes I didn't, paid fifty dollars here for somebody to post it. You know, certain things like I done paid this person go ahead, they post it or you feel me, just you gotta just keep 
building. Like a lot of people say, take over, take over your city first. Anybody that know this from around here, motherfuckers gonna hate on you. You know, no matter what you got going on, they gonna hate on you. It don't matter if you the most solid nigga in the world, most money in the world. It don't matter. Niggas gonna hate. So it is sometimes the best to venture somewhere else. If you know, as long as you got good energy, you got good music. And you ain't no, no say no dumb shit. You can really talk. You see, it's time and place for everything. You feel me? Like you got certain people you'll take into death jams with you, and then you got some niggas you just gonna leave out in the hood. You already know, know what I'm saying? You gonna come? Don't take. You ain't gonna leave them, but you feel me? You gonna you gonna come back and get? But I ain't gonna take you to this meeting. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't gonna be able to talk to these people like that. You feel me? So everything know what I'm saying? Like what they say, man. Not what you know, who you know. You get the right person, they put you in the right position. Take off from there. No bullshit, you take off. Mm -hmm. Man, shit. See, I don't smoke, so most of the time, give me a give me a bottle for Tron. I don't mind. Right. But like, what I've been trying to do lately, I've been actually just trying to go in there sober. You know, like I ain't even drinking. Let me just go up in here and let me see what I can do real quick. And then more of a clear mind. You feel me? That beat right. And then plus, like me, anything I have, like that shit, just built off of. Day to day shit. What nigga going in life? You know, I feel like my best songs to me is when I'm going through something. Anytime, it don't matter what it is. Like if I'm going through some shit, that's what I'm gonna put out this banger. I'm gonna put my all in it. You feel me? And that's how it's supposed to be every time. You know, but sometimes niggas get lazy or whatever. But I get in that stew. Yeah, it's a wrap, regardless. Uh. What I just dropped? I'm about to drop a video called Caution. Uh, matter of fact, this week. I'm about to drop, I put a snippet out. You know, I'm about to drop that this week. Uh, shit. Last week I just dropped a, a single, an R&B single called Energy. It's on all platforms. Caution is on all platforms now. You know, um, I dropped the EP. There's some bullshit happened with that. They ended up taking it off. This, uh, I mean, goddamn, United Masters ended up taking it off. So, it was a bunch of bullshit with them. Uh, for real, I'm, I'm ready to drop this album for real. I want to drop an album, but like I said before, everything is a rollout plan. I'm trying to, you know, sometimes you ain't got to drop an album. Keep pushing singles. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, you keep pushing them singles. Yep, yep. And then sometimes it take, some shit take longer. But as long as you stay on it, if you know it, you're going to feel like every song, you know what I'm saying, is going to be a better song than your last one. But you might have a banger from five years ago. That shit didn't take off. You know, it just might. Fetty Wap did it. So, you know what I'm saying? He had his song. So it might, you know, just keep pushing. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Same thing I'm doing. I got some shit in the coming up. That's why I was I trying to get a PR right now. I got somebody to make it. You feel me? I got a PR that I'm dealing with. And everything is just like the female. And she's telling me, like, you got to do this first. And then you go ahead and get this. And it's like being on the scene with people makes it a little, you know what I'm saying, look better. Like I've been doing celebrity pool parties, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like being on the scene with somebody. Even if you, if like, I got invited to BET this year, the BET Awards. Okay. Just me being back there, like I ain't go. But if I would have went, you know, I would have went and just taking pictures with these yeah, people and shit like that. There, just yes. being back there. If, or you, somebody see you with somebody all the time or with celebrities and shit, regardless, somebody like, as much as people, you know, everything is built off of social media. So if they keep popping up, this nigga shit, okay, gonna with this person, he was just over there, now he's with goddamn this person, like, God, what the fuck? And it's just gonna make, let me go see what this nigga got going on. And that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They gonna keep, somebody gonna like your shit. You got people that don't like your shit, and there's some, you gonna have people, a lot more people does it. If you got the right shit, they gonna like your shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just being on the scene. And that's what my whole is right now. I'm just trying to, Maneuver every way I can. Yeah, I mean, I ain't did no no major no major features. You know, um, I do. I want one. I want one with Mozzie. You know, I want one with Mozzie. I want one with Sada Baby. I want to mm -hmm. get one with him. You know, uh, like the like. That's one thing. Like I learned too. Like, put getting a feature. You know what I'm saying? It's boo. Don't get me wrong. It's good, but. I come back to that rollout plan again. You get that feature, right? Now I know I do a say I do a feature with Lil Baby. I get a feature with him. But I have a, a my own single in the cut that's hard as a bitch. Mm -hmm. 
So when I drop it with him, they're going to automatically gonna be like, oh, all right, what else he got coming up? And then I drop my shit, my own single. They're going to, right, he already, he did good on this song with him. What the fuck else he got? Right. And that's when it come in. That's when right. you drop what you really want to go ahead and push. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to lie, though, too. You, you got to let that baby song run, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. You have to let it run before. Yeah. Like, you got to let it run. You got to. You max it out. Yeah. And then you, you, you should be good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To really give that next single that yep. right push. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I was just gonna ask you, like, how long would you let it run? Like, I mean, shit, me, it it all depends, bro. Cause like, I look at it like this: if I go ahead and do a, um, like I do do, if I do a feature with a little baby, you know how the shit is. It's ten percent talent, you know. So it's ninety percent business. Me, if I got, if I'm sitting there and do the paperwork or whatever, and I figure out he be like, yeah, my team gonna push it too. I'm gonna ask him how long y'all gonna push it for. At the same time, if y'all, we, if we go ahead and put marketing promotion behind it for a whole month, you feel me? And like, it might take longer than that. You don't know how long it's gonna take for that song to pop up. But I'm gonna just keep pushing. You just keep pushing, keep pushing. You know, especially like it's best to get, especially when you get a, a popping artist. You know, like you gonna spend that bag, so be ready to spend that bag. You gonna have to. Man, my homeboy, he was just telling me, shout out my nigga Reese Ryder. He was just telling me, he was like, bro. Your ass is really moving, bro. He's like, you doing shit. He's like, man, you just got to start. Every little thing you do is content, which I'm trying to build up now. Like me, I could I could be sitting in the crib, certain shit, you know what I'm saying, just chilling and shit. I could still be, all right, real quick, let me post this with my music playing in the background or whatever the case may be, sitting there playing Warzone, whatever the case may be. Some people like the vlogs and shit. Some people like to see what people doing day-to-day -day shit. You feel me? So, But yeah, that content is definitely important and shit. That shit is definitely important. Nah, not for real. I mean, when I'm ready to shoot or whatnot, in the case is, I know I'm saying, I hit up my homeboy, you know, I hit up uh, AK Bando, shout out to him. He the one that just shot my video. Um, my nigga Dame, shout out Dame. He shot a lot of my shit too. Um, for real, nah, I mean, I ain't got nobody, you know. Most of them, I have the time, bro, I'm by myself. You know what I'm saying? With my kids, like, yeah, I'm a solo bolo type nigga. Oh, uh, shit, we got that uh, Caution. It's coming out this week. Uh, my album, I'm thinking about, I got a Dead Roses album. You know, the first one and the second one. Both of them are straight R&B albums. You know what I'm saying? Straight r and I'm going to probably do a DR3. You know, but I'm going to put it, this one probably might just, everything up there going to be showing back where I'm from. Like, a lot of songs is going to be California so You feel me? So, I just know what I'm saying, like, other than that, for real, I'm just pushing singles, video singles. I was trying to know, keep pushing, keep pushing, and hit these shows. Anytime I get somewhere, my people hit me up, yo, we got this, man, no, I'm gone. I supposed to be fucking about my homeboy, D. Casual, talking about. I got a joint, he got, uh, he fucking with Irv Gotti like that. You know, Irv just caught, what, $250 million check? Yeah, he just got, he just caught them in. You know, that show he just got done with, you know, the Murder Inc. show, so my homeboy put me in, the, put me in there with him. So shit, I'm doing anything and everything possible I can. But just more, you know, get ready for more visuals, definitely. Definitely more visuals.